Hello everyone and welcome to a new series of Prison Architect. We're gonna start with the campaign in this uh, game and we will do prison building and escape mode uh, after this, but we'll first complete the entire campaign. This is the first uh, campaign mission and I believe we have to uh, execute one of uh, the prisoners. We first seem to get an overview of this prison and new prisoners are coming in. Let's see who it is. Smucker, Jordan, okay, we can't see them all. <laughs> Garbage collection, and oh, there he is. Prison architect. Oh, incoming call. This is a tough one. There's a prisoner in serrated at this facility who's been convicted of a double murder and sentenced to death. That's where we come in. We've been contracted to construct an execution chamber in time for this guy's big day. This is where I want the new facility to be built. The first step with any project like this is to construct the building itself, with enough space inside to fit an execution chamber, or an execution room, and a holding cell. So let's get started. Construct a new building here. We will also need an entrance to the new execution for the facility. Build a large steel door into the south wall. Okay. Well, foundation. Uh, I like mine to be concrete. Do this. Objects. Large steel door. And build that. Oh, he's calling again. Your workmen are responsible for the construction of the buildings. They'll collect the steel and concrete from the storeroom and take it to the construction site. They'll use this, those raw materials to build the foundations and framework of your new building. This is the slowest part of the construction, so you should plan ahead when building new facilities. While we wait, take a look around, use WASD or the arrow keys to move around and use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Let's see what we have. Few cells over here. Fifty-one prisoner limit. A small kitchen. I really don't like that floor. A canteen. So they have to like move to through two doors. Some power. More cells. A shower. Two showers and the storage. It's not that spectacular. Useless rooms. <laughs> Anyway, are you guys done yet? Hello? Can you finish this off, please? What did he do? Okay, there we go. Are we calling again? Yep, there we go. Inside the building, I want a cell and an execution room. Okay. Partition the space by constructing some brick walls. I want concrete walls, to be honest. Can I do concrete walls? I don't like brick walls. Let's hope this counts, otherwise I have to redo it. Brick walls in a concrete foundation really doesn't fit. <laughs> Let's speed this up a little. These workmen have the keys, by the way. I don't really see that often. Does this count? Let's see. Oh well, he's he's happy with it. And now at the door, chill the doors. Middle mouse button or R. Well, that's all old information. There we go. Go, you little guys. Oh, yeah, there you go. They're insanely strong, by the way. 
just carrying that by themselves. Who the hell gave them keys, by the way? I hope that's t just for the tutorial, though, because... Uh, otherwise, uh, prisoners c could easily kill them as they are unarmed. That's looking good. We now need to designate rooms within those spaces. Designate a cell in the smaller area. And the execution room in the bigger area. Okay. Execution room. And the cell. There you go. Those new rooms have requirements before they become functional. Yeah, I guessed. The cell needs a bed and a toilet. The execution room requires the electric chair. A toilet right there. A bed right there. And the execution chair. Or electric chair, whatever. <laughs> Go, little workman. I guess that's the electric chair. Yeah. Does that fit in a box? Well, the picture is on it. I guess. Why is this door open and that one closed? Can you close? Okay, like lock shut. No, nope, I can't close it. <laughs> Bloop. Um, yeah, I need this because I believe. Where's the bed and the toilet? Oh, where did they come from? I guess over here. Anyway, while we wait for these guys to hurry up, uh, this, every episode of the career mode will be the whole uh, whole campaign level with all the optional uh, stuff. So the last one might be really long, this one might be really short. That's the essentials taken care of, but there are still a few improvements you could make. It's up to you though. These aren't strictly required, it depends how much you care about your prisoners, and their environment. The cell itself could be improved with an outward facing window, and a small bookshelf. And the facility would look better with a higher quality floor material, like wooden floorboards or mosaic tiles. Okay. Outside you could add some lighting and a paved pathway. If you think it needs it. And... Hi. This is the man in question, Edward Romsey, a teacher once, would you believe? It's not our place to decide if he deserves this. The law has made that decision. We're just here to do, the, do a job. Once you're satisfied this facility is ready, you can begin the prisoner transfer to his new cell. Simply kick... Click on the Polaroid in his cell to initiate the transfer. That's this thing. Okay. Well, let's fancy this up a little. Optional, add a window to a cell. Window, I believe it has to go this way. A bookshelf? Well, why not? Not, not like he will be doing much reading anymore. Uh, redo the flooring with a higher quality material. Materials. So I want a wooden floor here. Wooden floor here. And then these as well. And what did he say? Mosaic? I guess that's this one. There's no mosaic tiles specifically. Okay. Pave, paving stone work with me. Some lights, I believe. So place them here. Place them here. And place one on the corner. There we go. Okay, uh, build a path, create some outdoor lighting. Uh, I think we did everything. We just have to wait for them to uh, do it now. I think they're pretty amazing. Installing the floor with a screwdriver. 
It's pretty, pretty cool, dude. You gotta teach me not that someday. Huh, Jesus Christ. I believe that's all done. So we can... We've done all the optional ones, so click on this. The Chief! Okay, here we go. Don't shed one tear for this guy. He's a stone-cold killer, guilty as charged. He even confessed. Wanna hear his description of what he did? It's juicy stuff. It was around 11 p.m. The lights were already on. I knew she was home. Oh, I think we get to see it, actually. What he did. He has a nice, nice path in front of his house. And his doors actually open in a proper way. <laughs> they don't all just retract into the wall. Oh boy. This is not gonna end well, is it? I knew I'd get you two here. Edward, I... Don't, just don't. What are you going to do? He's probably gonna shoot. Well, he dies. And she dies. He has some good aim. Same spot twice. America. That's why we don't allow guns over here. <laughs> a teacher with a gun. No, 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 no. There's a knife. Why was there a knife on the heater? Clear as day, if you ask me. Deserves every fault he's gonna get. All men deserve forgiveness, even him. Are you so sure in yourself that you can deal out such final judgment? Catching your wife with another man is no excuse for what he did. And he went there with a loaded gun, knowing he'd find them together. That's double premeditated murder. He's done nothing but cooperate with the authorities. This state is making an example of him. If he'd committed his crime 100 miles north, he'd been looking at life imprisonment instead of... Instead, how is that justice? Do you want a guy like this running free? I'll sleep just fine at night when I know he's gone. How... He did... He just opened the gate. Okay, the CEO is calling. Good work so far. However, there's one problem. The execution room isn't functioning yet, because it doesn't have any power. We need to connect it to the electric supply. Uh, uh, well, that's long, a long cable. This doesn't have power either. We are now viewing the prison in utilities mode, which shows us the electric wiring layout for the entire prison. Doesn't this prison have water? Each building in the prison is connected to the power grid by these thick underground electrical cables. Yeah. Power is provided to the prison by this substation, which draws electricity from the national grid. Stealing all the power. I didn't see this before, that they n didn't have power. I think this just appeared, to be honest. As you can see, this entire wing of, the, of prison cells is without power. All of the lights are out. To fix this problem, we need to switch into utilities modes to understand why the lights are without power. Well, that might be because the closest cable is over there. The nearest electrical cables are too far away. Our engineers can't complete the wiring for this area. Extend the electrical cables nearby to cover this wing of the prison. Okay. So, we do this, then that, and we have to connect this up. There you go. Don't know if this is a requirement yet, but... Doing it anyway. Well, let's see those little guys go to work. Ah, oh, cool, they have the, an entire bundle of the cables with them. Ah, oh, he's gonna install it indoors. There we go. I think actually, might no, 
the electrical cable might have to extend it a little bit to here as well. And now we wait for them to fix it. How many workmen do we have anyway? 14. Oh, that entire wing has power. I guess. How does... How does this one have power, but th these don't? This one cable. Okay, there we go. I believe they all have power now. Yep. Calling. Lights aren't the only thing that needs power. Your new electric chair does too. Use the power cables to connect the execution facility to the power grid. I believe we already did that. The electric chair itself is a special type of electrical item. It requires its own dedicated power line. You'll need to connect it up directly with the main cables. I think we already did that, so are you going to call again? Yep. We're almost done, I think. We should test the new execution room at least once before we try to use it, though. I'm just going to turn it on for a few seconds, make sure everything is okay. Okay, you do that. Let's see how this goes. Uh-oh. I believe it just... <laughs> well, that didn't work. It looks like we drew too much power and tripped the circuit breaker in the power station. The whole prison is dark. We're going to need more juice to be able to handle the power spike that the electrical chair generates. So, more of these things, I guess? First, we need to turn the power back on. This is a two-step process. Switch the power station back on by clicking on it and selecting switch on in the menu that appears. Then build the three more capacitors. So, these things. So, we have enough power, to capa uh, power capacity to handle the electric chair. Once you've done that, test the electric chair again by clicking on it and selecting switch on in the menu. Okay, so we're gonna do this. In the meantime, this can go on again, I think. Yeah. And now we wait for those little guys to run over here and fix it. Go! One, two. Poof, poof. We have more room on this bar now, so... Where's the last guy? Oh, there he is. There we go. Okay, and now we need to check it again. So, click on it, and switch on. And... We're using a bit of power. Oh boy. We use like two capacitors. Well done, I believe we are finished with this job. <laughs> What happens now is out of our hands. We did a professional job, and that's important in our business. Try not to worry about what happens next. Can I help you? Dot dot dot. Are you looking for forgiveness? I don't know, I have to do something. I can't live with the things I've done. You have to turn yourself in, whatever you've done. You cannot evade the consequences. You will never be able to live with yourself until you face up to your past. I want to go back, I want to forgive her. I want her to forgive me. God will forgive you no matter what you have done, if you ask him to. But you must answer for your crimes in the eyes of the law. There is no other way. Well, here he goes, I think. It is time, Edward. You have done the right thing, even though this world will not forgive you for it. You will be with God's, God soon. <clears throat> and will have the final. he will have the final judgment on you. Wow, I really can't talk today. Are we gonna go? Yep. Yeah. 
here uh, on the, this side here they're really small but here they're a lot bigger Well, it was nice knowing you out, weren't Aren't you supposed to, like, keep him in the chair? <laughs> uh, I believe you don't have that on. Uh oh. Edward Romsey, you've been found guilty of two counts of murder in the first degree. The penalty is death. Do you have anything to say? Susan. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit late now. <laughs> and the white screen. I believe we finished the first mission. Or the first campaign level. We will see though. I don't know. It's a uh, it's a lot of black. Oh, well. Anyway, that was the first chapter because I just saw the announcement of the second chapter. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you again in the second episode, where we will do chapter two, apparently Palermo. So uh, thank you for watching, and see. You I'm 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 gonna have some fun with smelteries. Yeah, you're gonna make a smeltery city. Let's see if we can go to the moon with a smeltery. <laughs> Please no.